Super Cost and Resource Loading Sheet. This is very straightforward sheet. However, it is a very effective and time saving. You can't imagine what you can do with this simple sheet. First of all, you can identify all your activity lists here at a bank. Bank of activity list. You, you need to put a control ID for each activity you have, activity name, division of work, and you have here the technician and technician productivity, technician 2 name and technician 2 productivity, and the helper name and the helper productivity. This is like a bank, it is growing up with you. Each project you make, you will add more activities with productivities for your reference. So the first thing is to populate here your activity bank list. Or if you want to create them, I will tell you how to create them as well. I'm going to back to the home again. This is a standard division of work. So I put here some division of works. And of course, this will be standard. Whatever uh, division of work you are using, you will put it here one time. And the project information. What is the building style you have? What is the floors you have here in each building type? And what is the shortcut? And here is the numbering of activity ID and the VOQ reference number. And I'll tell you what is the use of each one of them. We have two methods to create the cost and resource load. We have the first method, which is very good and effective for master schedules, which does not involve floors and weights and so on. So simply, I'll click here. I have a blank area, which I can copy paste directly the bill of quantity here. It doesn't matter if you have spaces here or you have unfilled information here, because the Excel sheet will clean it up for you. So let me grab some information and paste it here. So basically what I did, I print some POQ items, I just copied it directly from the bill of quantities and I paste it here. This is a description, this is the unit, bill of quantity, uh, BOQ quantity, and the rate, and I added here the division of four. As you can see here, there is some page numbers and some blank rows and some misinformation or blank rules. So simply, the Excel sheet will help me to clean this data. So the first step I'm going to do is to clean the data. I click here, clean data. And the Excel sheet will check all the blank row and delete it for me. And this is my first step. Now I'm ready to go. Here, the idea here is to put the activity control ID. So mainly I'm working now in division number three. So I can click here division three. And this will filter all the activities in, from my activity bank, which is related to division number three. So now I'm talking about plain concrete for blinding. This is plain concrete underfooting. So I'll click this activity and I'll click add control ID. This item is only for one activity, so no need to put anything here. However, I need to put the technician name here, which is Carpenter. And how many hours required to execute one unit of this VOQ quantity? I would say one hour. And I'll go to the next activity. Next activity is reinforced concrete for footing. So I'm going to find here where is the enforced concrete for footing. Here it is. I'll click on it. And then I'll click add control ID. This item related to one activity only. However, there is carpenter. And I have a steel fixer as well. And I put the productivity of the scheme as steel fixed.
Let's say we have another activity here. I want to find something in division number nine. Let's have the paint, for example, here. The paint for walls. This is related to two activities. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the filters, and I'll select division nine. And I have here painting for walls first stage and painting for wall second stage. So this activity is related to two, uh, this uh, BOQ item related to two activities. First of all, I have to ensure that there is no empty space here because when I click add control ID, it goes to the first MBTC. So I'm going to fill it for now. And here I'm going to select wall painting first stage and I will click add control ID. So this is the control ID for wall painting first stage. However, I still need another activity to load this item on it, which is all painting second stage. I'll click on it and I'll click add control ID. It will put it below it, so I'll copy and paste it here. And I'll put here the technician name, painter, and the productivity 0.5. And let's say here we have helper. And the productivity is 0.2. And I have to complete all the BOQ items like this. So I have only these cases. Whether I have one activity only and one technician, or I have one activity with two different technicians, or I have two activities related to one BOQ items and one or more technician. So after I finish all this information, which should take time actually, it will save 90% of the time required to create the post and resource loading. So let me bring some ready data here and paste it here to see what will happen when the, uh, we finish filling all this information. Now I have here some information I created. And I put all the required information for different types of work. After I finish populating this sheet, I will click load activities. This is where the magic happens. When I click load the activities, the Excel sheet is creating for me the very hard job I could take days to make it. So after it is finished, a pop-up message will confirm that all activities were loaded. So what is next? Well, to back to home again, and then I'll click go to master post loading. This is where all my information is populated. Because this Excel sheet is uh, actually based on uh, uh, EXE file, so I give you another file which is called master post loading which is exactly the same format as this one. All you need to select this one and then control shift down. Copy this information here and paste it value here. This is a very normal Excel sheet where you can save and distribute to all your colleagues. And what I'm going to make here, click data and refresh all. And here we go. We have master resource loading sheet. We have here the type of the buildings. So I can click it here like this. I can summarize. I can do whatever I want. I have here the VOQ description, resource name, the quantity of the activity, the productivity, and the required man hours. So simply I can click here and filter by gray, which is activity level. And I can copy this one and export it to Promovera because I have here the activity and the uh, budget resource. This is one, one time can be done with the man hours, very easy import and export to Promovera. 
Additionally, I have here the cost loading. It is ready for me. Here is the activity name, POQ description, unit, rate, quantity, and budget. So in very few steps, I created cost loading and resource loading ready to be exported to Promovera. And even you can print this one. It is ready for print with organized shape. Now, let's close this one. I will not say. And let's go to the detail section. Here where I can make a very, very detailed cost loading. But I need in this case to make to make copy and paste for each activity for each BOQ item one time. I'm going to visit the activity BOQ item one time only. However, I will be able to do a very detailed cost and resource loading. So let's say this is the activity or this is the BOQ item I have. I can this is division 3, so simply here I can find division 3. I will click here on division 3, then I will click get activity list. The Excel sheet will get to me all the activities in the division 3. So this item is a plain concrete, so I have here to select the control ID for the plain concrete and create, click create activity. Let's say I didn't select this one. I'll just click here and click create activity. It will tell me please select control ID. So I have to click on the control ID column and I will click create activity. This came to me for all floors for all types. So this is not what I want. I want only this for type A1, and this is repeated for first floor, ground floor, and second floor. I'm going to create activities again. So it tells me, please select control ID. I'll select this one, and I will create, and I will select create activity. So the program gives me three activities ready to receive whether percentage or activity quantity let's say i'll make it 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent and i will tell the program to load this activity ah the program tells me please check activity quantity or percentage because this is not equal to 100 percent so it is a type of data validation as well so if i change this one to 50 percent now the total of this is 100 and I click load activity it is loaded successfully now let's say we have another activity another BOQ item here which will be loaded to existing activity on my activity list so I'm, I can filter the existing activity so this one this activity will this BOQ item should be loaded to the existing activity so I'll click add existing activity it will grab for me the uh, activity and each activity ID already fixed and let's say we I need to add another activity to to this POQ item so I can click here add more activities to this item I'll click it yes to add more activities to this one so in that case, I'm going to select first floor only and I'll select this activity and create, create activity. Now I have two activities ready to be populated to this BOQ item. I have to put here the percentage or the quantity. I'll make a percentage 50%, 50%, then I'll click load activities. And the loading completed. So the idea here is to visit the bill of quantity one time only. The bill of quantity item, I have to copy and paste it here. And I have to finish all the activities related to this item in the bill of quantity one time only. 
and of course I can grab all the information from my activity bank I can assign activities from my activity bank or I can assign existing activity from the already activity I assigned to the, the program before I'll go back to home then I'll go to the detailed cost loading I'm going to select all this information I will copy it then I'll open the other file which is called detailed cost loading and I will paste it here and I'll click data and refresh all and I will have here detailed cost loading and detailed resource loading of course you can this is a paper table you can save it very normal excel sheet which has the activity id you can find here that the activity id repeated already twice because it is related to different uh, boq items and you can find here that the activity name already created with the uh, uh, with the floor, for example, plain concrete underfooting. Of course, this is not correct, but uh, this is for example, it, it's showing the floor number besides the activity. The activity ID already automatically created. Here is the floor, then the division, then the numbers, and you can use this one as a cost loading, and you can import it to Primavera uh, with very easy steps. You can filter, of course, this one and import it to the Primavera. So what we have here covered now that I can create activity bank, keep growing it, make it take bigger and bigger to adding my uh, uh, my projects to it so I have a standard activity list. So my, my standard division of work will be done one time and the project information will vary from one project to another. Let's say I'm finished now here. I want to save this one. I'm going to click save. And I can save this one as my first try. I'm going to save it on the desktop. I'm going to save it. I'll close this one. I'll close this sheet. Whenever I'm going to open the file again it will ask me whether I want um, I need to open or I want to open the original book or the last save or a choose save I can click choose save and here is my first try having all the information so you will be sure that the data will not be lost formulas or the things in the excel will not be messed up when you are playing with the excel sheet you always have the original copy available to come to to come back to it at any time this is version number one of the super cost and resource loading and of course i'm going to develop it based on your feedback so try it do your best and give me your feedback. We are going to make it better together. And whenever I, I release another version of this one, I'm going to send an email including the uh, exe file. And you can use your activation key to activate all of your copies since it, uh, it will work for all the future upgrade and enhancements. I wish you will find this video useful and you will find this excel sheet time saving and wish you all the luck thank you very much